Got to mention Tulsa Drillers also playing tonight in town. So a lot of sports action going on around green country. A lot of folks uh, making plans for Labor Day and Mother Nature smiling on those plans, isn't she, Annie? Smiling and also making it a little bit hot, but yeah. thankfully we've kind of curbed that humidity. If you've noticed in the afternoons, it's still hot out there. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but that humidity, unfortunately, is going to start creeping back in the forecast. All right, taking a live look. These are Wade's RV Weather Camera Network on the Sunday morning. All is calm, all is quiet, which we like. 74 here for Tulsa. The sun is shining. Southeasterly winds about 9 miles per hour. Dew points are now in those mid-60s, so we are getting that humidity already creeping back into the forecast this morning. 74 again here for Tulsa. Notice some 60s still holding on to Nowata at 68. A nice 66 over to Blackwell and temperatures right about upper 60s into Stillwater. For today, south winds will be with us uh, primarily 5 to 15 miles per hour. We'll keep a sun cloud mix around with more sun anticipated for the day today. 90s in the afternoon, not only 90s, but mid 90s uh, likely in the forecast. I'm thinking about 96 here for Tulsa. We hit 94 yesterday, so we're going to be a few degrees warmer by this afternoon. Normal for this time of the year, 89 degrees, so we're anything uh, but normal. We're well above that. In terms of cloud coverage, I want to point this out. We have an area of low pressure that's going to try to sneak into the region. And with that, it could bring some cloud coverage uh, to our southeastern most uh, portions of our counties by the afternoon. So those of you over at the lakes are not anticipating any rain to sneak into the forecast, but those clouds will start to develop by about 2-3 o'clock. You could see that they will be intermittent as we go into the remainder of the afternoon. Tulsa, I think we'll see more sun for today. There are those showers that want to try to sneak in. I think that's going to hold off mainly more so to the south. South winds, again, about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, 90s and then in 80s, we will see more clear skies later on tonight. So that's going to anticipate those temperatures to fall for the overnight lows. Sun setting now closer to about 7.51. So again, we're losing that daylight each and every day. To our morning, 74 here for Tulsa. That'll be a warm start to our morning. It's where we're at right now with those temperatures. So that's going to set the bar for what's in store tomorrow. We're looking at mid 90s and yes, we do have the potential for some showers and storms to return to the area. I'm still keeping about a 20% chance. I think this model is being a little bit more aggressive. I think it will stay more so into the southeastern portion, east southeastern portion. So isolate at best. This would be mainly for tomorrow afternoon into the evening hours. I'm not anticipating any strong to severe storms also in the mix, uh, but something we'll continue to monitor. In addition to some rain chances in the forecast, we're also seeing that increasing opportunity for that humidity to return. And with that, we will start to feel it 104, potentially 105. Wouldn't be surprised mainly if we potentially see a uh, heat advisory in the coming days, but something again we'll continue to monitor. Chances are going up though, looking for Friday into Saturday for some showers and storms, knocking those temperatures down back to near normal. Annie, thanks. We'll be right back.